everyone, it's Suzanne from sunstampin.com. Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. Today I have this super cute little squat box for you today. Um, I decorated it with some retired paper. I apologize. I will use a current color today. So this is Daffodil Delight and um, we're gonna need a piece of cardstock that's nine inches by six and a half inches. And on the long side, I'm going to score at a half an inch, at three and a quarter, four and three quarters, and seven and a half. Spin it round, a half, two, and five. You don't have to write anything down. I have a direct link in the description bar below to this project's blog post with all the information you'll need if you want to recreate it. So I'm just folding, folding and burnishing my score lines. And all of the supplies I'm using are listed in the description bar below with links to the online store. I'm going to start cutting now this little rectangle and then we're wedging out, wedging out here. And this square rectangle are also gone. This is our lid. So we're going to cut nice and straight down on that. And these are our flaps for the inside. So I'm just going to wedge out a little and wedge out a little. And I'm going to leave that one there for the heck of the heck of it for now. And this is the inside of our box. So or sorry, this is the front, I should say. So I'm going to cut that whole piece right off and then I'm going to wedge out on this tab as well. Now flipping it round, I'm going to cut up, wedge and wedge. Okay, so that's what you should have. I'm going to come right in right now with my punch, my corner rounder. We sell them at Stampin' Up. They're called Project Life Corner Rounders. So I am using the Fruit Stand um, Designer Series paper, and I love it. And we are going to require... Uh, front and back two and a half by two and three quarters so let me just double check two and three quarters by two and a half so which one goes where there we go perfect so you're going to need two of those sizes And then for the sides, one and a quarter by two and three quarters. I love this paper. Have I said that before? I love it. I, this is so fresh and unique. I love it. It has tiny little apples on the other side. Okay. So fast, okay, so now I'm going to take my punch and I just want a little lip out of there so that a fingernail hole, basically. And then fast fuse. And 
Okay, so yeah, there we go. This is going to be my front. So these two flaps go down. This will be my back. So I'm going to do a little H of, or sorry, a U. of adhesive and then just two straight lines for here perfecto okay so reason why I left these long is because I'm going to snip them off now and this way I can come in and get two at once And it hides the present with N and it makes it uh, decently even. Okay, so this was very vanilla Baker's Twine. And I colored it with an alcohol marker to match because I don't have any Daffodil Delight ribbon. And I'm not going to do a bow with this because I think it looks bulky. But I like the idea of tying it in a knot. And I thought this box would be awesome for if you um, have lemon soap uh, to give a gift or, you know, a lemony treat. So. And I'm just going to jig it over to the side. Perfect. And then I have this you are so sweet. Let's see. Sentiment. And that comes from the Thoughtful Banners stamp set. And I stamped in Daffodil Delight. Yeah, I like that. So just a little bit of dimensional bones on the back. I cut off a little bit of that twine. There you go. Two different looks, same box. So Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On the screen are two more videos for inspiration. To see a picture gallery of all my projects, stop by my blog. Thanks again for watching.